Welcome back, John Fedger here with MobileHomeInvesting.net and real quick I want to cover what makes a good deal. Now on your very first deal, if you've never purchased uh, real estate for investment purposes or you have never purchased a mobile home for sale for investment purchases, listen up because mobile homes are a completely different animal than single family uh, real estate. In fact, mobile homes on land versus mobile home inside rented parks are completely different animals from one to the other. Now with that said, you have to know what a buyer will pay for a mobile home in a park, a three bedroom, a two bedroom, one that looks like the one that you're going to purchase. Now keep in mind, many mobile homes they don't sell for cash and that's simply because just the buyers typically don't have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars saved up in their bank account. Those aren't the type of buyers that we're looking to attract or that we're looking to help. Most of the buyers we talk to they have some money for a move-in fee and then they'll be happy to make affordable monthly payments for the next five to ten years to own your uh, beautiful mobile home that you have for sale. Now the mobile home may not be as beautiful, it may be a handyman special, but it does have to have a lot of potential and the terms have to be very attractive as well. So we're never trying to fool or kid anybody when we try to go and resell a mobile home, it has to be a good value. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about John, what makes a good deal? Well, first things first, let's go with the path of lease resistance and on your first few deals I would like to see them to be a three bedroom, them being in family parks and typically a park, parks that do allow pets with average or below average lot rent. Now when you go to resell that home, realize that you're going to be selling then to the biggest demographic of people, ones that want a clean home, a three bedroom, and a family park that does allow pets with an average or below average lot rent. Now keep in mind that when you resell that home, your goal should be to make all of your invested profit back, or I'm sorry, your investment uh, capital that you purchased that home, if you purchased it all cash, you should be able to make your money back within 12 months. Ideally, within your first few months, including the move-in fee that you get from your tenant buyer. Now, if you, uh, of course, you can do a deal right now where you go out and you purchase a home and it takes you three or four years to make your money back, or you're only making a 50 or or $100 per month. We want to aim for at least $300 net to us for the paying off of the home, so that's net to us $300 or I simply won't get out of bed or do a deal. I mean, you, you can choose to do a deal or not do the deal depending on the numbers. So John, what makes a good deal you ask? Make sure that you get your money back within a few months or within a year max really max and we should be aiming for under six months, under five months to get all of your money back. Also let's go with the path of lease resistance and on your first few deals make sure they're nice clean homes, ideally three bedrooms that you know you can resell for a profit uh, and also of course the park likes you or if you're buying it attached to land make sure that the home can cash flow day number one. Something we didn't talk about is if you're purchasing a mobile home in a park with payments make sure that that home can cash flow day number one. So you're paying your seller some debt service, you're receiving some money from your buyer, you're able to put some profit into your pocket, you're able to pay your seller for the mobile home. After a few months the seller's paid off and now you're receiving all of that cash flow from your tenant buyer. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video, like it up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, don't hesitate to comment them below in the comments. Talk to you soon.